Hey everybody, what's going on? Rob Sestrino back for a club condo here for episode 10 of uh, Survivor 47. We're back. We're ready to go. Sorry, not sorry. Yes, big episode coming up here tonight. And we've got a jam-packed show here with a guy who's loyal to the soil when it comes to the podcast. It's Chappelle. Chappelle, how are you? Rob, I'm good. Um... I, yeah, I'm, I am loyal to the soil, famously. You know, I told you, 10 toes down every time. I I, was, I loved seeing baby Andy talk about that in this episode because it, it felt like he was speaking to us, the loyal RHAP listeners. Loyal to the RHAP soil, yes. Right, we've been, t- we've been tuning in for years and we ain't going nowhere. Yeah, okay, and now here's a guy who, so excited to have him back here on Club Condo. Last season, he joined us for the 17th place roundtable, but now... Here he is to talk about ninth placers. It's Brandon Donlin. Hey, last time I was here, I ended the podcast. I looked at you, Rob, and I said, I'll be back. Yeah. This isn't the last time you're going to see me. And look, yeah, I got the invite. I got the, the coveted invite. We all won. I got it. Yeah. No, it was great to have Brandon here because after the episode on Wednesday, he texted me loyal to Susan Boyle. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. I Famously. dreamed a dream. I dreamed the dream of time gone by, you know? Um, <laughs> My Spanish teacher one time we got in trouble, like we, we the, the class got in trouble and then she made us watch that. And there was some lesson there. I don't remember what the lesson was, but we watched the audition. Um, mm-hmm. I wish I could ask her. Maybe I'll send an email. It's a viral but, video. It was a viral video, especially in 2011 when I was a, a freshman in high school. Yeah, uh, that's when the, the peak Susan Boyle, I think actually Tyson said this a couple days ago that I said this to him. Um, I'm tired of the new era. People ask. Oh, hot this. take alert. You know. I love the new. I was in the new. I mean, for a minute, <laughs> I was there. the new era. You were there. I, I don't like the asking for things from mm-hmm. you. Yeah. Like, I, I think it, maybe it didn't happen as much old era, but I don't like that. And I love Gabe. And I love the Ray Lewis dance. I don't love Ray Lewis. I don't stand by some of those actions. But I don't oh, like babe. that. Like, can I do a dance, right? Just mm-hmm. do the dance, you know? Rome, can I sit in your... I think maybe Jeff offered this. I think Jeff offered it. He's not supposed to ask to sit in the seat. He's supposed <laughs> yeah. to get up and push him off the like, chair. Go move, sit Jeff. In the seat. It's my time. I think you should just do just do it. You know, Move, like the night Jeff. Club. Get out the way. <laughs> oh, that. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm over the asking. I think just, you know, season 49, if you're listening to this and so, you're watching... Okay. You heard it, you heard it here first. Brandon Donlin says uh, consent not necessary. Nope. No, and also yeah, the new era. He's a little bit over it. Any yeah. other hot takes? Yeah, Susan Boyle. <laughs> I can get you a couple about SB um, <laughs> to the no. soil. To the soil. Um, yeah, no consent. Consent's awesome, but just when you're on Survivor, oh, not just but just this is you know we'll cut this. This mm-hmm. is fine. Yeah, you that's shouldn't fine. ask Jeff to do anything. Just do well, the thing you want to do. Just do it, and then <laughs> and then if it if it doesn't work, they're gonna say no, no. Yeah. What are you doing, Rachel? Yeah. Take that rice out your pocket. Stop yeah. dancing. You know, uh, yeah. Emily Flippin didn't ask to dance. She just started to shake. She, she just, just, I got it. I started, she just started dancing. Okay, and and honestly, New Era Jeff. He pretends to be spicy, but he's a little bit of a pushover. You know, like, um, okay, I need four of you to sit out of a challenge. Really? No. Huh? Okay, can it be three? No. Can we give you a shot in the dark? No. Can we all give you a shot in the dark? Okay, you crazy kids. Do what you want. I was like, Jeff, what happened? What happened? What are we doing here? Yeah, Jeff doesn't demand anything anymore. He just just take whatever you want from yeah. him. He's, he's Jeff five. hasn't been too spicy. He he like uh 46 he was like peak spicy Jeff. And then I don't know. It feels like has, has he done anything that spicy in 47? He told he had the knife, he had the knife in forty seven. He was like, "Don't he make said, don't me, make me get it." Yeah, don't make me get it. But you know, like he's like a grandparent now. You know, he's like he's like, "Oh, back in my day, you used to be really strict, but now in this new generation, you yeah. don't really, you know, you don't do the things that you used to do." He's like, he's not really gonna. I, not- I just thought after forty six, he was going to get progressively uh, spicier. Brandon, I, I thought oh. that the forties was like an episode of Hot Ones. I thought it was like, <laughs> okay, all right, here's yeah. oh, we're bringing this one out. Okay, now we they, but they don't go backwards no. in the scoville we didn't hit the bomb normally <laughs> you know around the eighth round you hit the bomb um we didn't do that no i think jeff's maybe transitioned into like a subtle spicy and again not to reference gabe's Ooh. dance again but go look at jeff during gabe's dance jeff mm-hmm. jeff didn't didn't love the dance and he didn't have to say anything yeah. about it you know he's just in the back it's like de niro face he was like <laughs> yeah oh. 
but not like the De Niro face of seasons past. You know, just a couple right. seasons ago, we got De Niro face, which I yeah. believe Danny did ask to no, do. No, I mean, I'm talking asked. about Jeff's reaction to De Niro face. Oh, <laughs> yeah. and and, and, yeah. and, 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 and Danny did say like, "Hey, can I do De Niro face?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe that's where it started. The asking is like, you just, yeah. you know. Just open with De Niro. Just do De Niro. You yeah, know? he likes the audacity. Just like step into your own, okay? Be like, we're about to be 50 years old here on Survivor, okay? Survivor 50 is coming. I don't need to come on here and try to prompt the players to do outrageous things. Y'all want to keep the show going just as much as Jeff does. Do your thing. Step out there. Do your Ray Lewis dance. Whatever it is you got to do. And Jeff is going to tell you whether or not it's too far. Rachel, the rice, too far. The dancing, eh, I'll go for it. It's fine. Sit in my chair. We can mm -hmm. talk about it. Yeah. So you reference Gabe said at the end of the episode, I'll be back. What do you think about going completely the opposite direction? What if a survivor player gets voted out and says, yeah, I'm, I'm not, never coming back. Okay. You got me effed up. I'm, I'm not never honest. coming back. <laughs> you know what? It, <laughs> Peace growing up. Brandon Donlin, yeah. would you, would you, would you go back? I never, I don't think I've ever asked you this question. Yeah. I yeah. this is my favorite thing in the world. I'd go yeah. back tomorrow. I, would I, you have I would gone to the to edge go. of extinction? A thousand percent, I would. I love the edge of extinction. I did all of yeah. my interviews. I talked about how much I love the edge of extinction. One would argue I would have maybe done better in an environment where you just kind of have Less to challenges. vibe for a little bit. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. I would have loved that. No challenges. I would have had to win people over. Yeah, I would have had a, a ream experience. I just, you know, I was, I was chilling. You know, the 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 elements elements were were fine you know i i could sleep fine i was i was chilling so i would have loved an edge of extinction bit. yeah um brandon what i thought was amazing about that kyle uh said wrote my name down montage uh evocative of an appy maria uh certainly yeah. so have we ever seen what like, in a montage that we've gone back and like cut people who are already out of the game back into the episode have we ever seen this before I, and again, I love to be a survivor historian. I think, no, I think this is the yeah. first time because I, I was whiplashed by Tiana. I see Tiana. Yeah, I think Rome there, was know. in there too. Oh, Rome mm -hmm. was in there also. What, what is very interesting to me is I wonder, does Sue still feel this like hate in her heart in the event that Kyle didn't vote for her? If Kyle throws a vote elsewhere, is Sue still mad at Kyle in the same way? Is Sue still mad at the, 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 you know, poor me, I'm a dad, she whatever. Is she, does she hate him the same level is my question. I wonder, you know, and we'll never know, but I wonder if it's a personality thing that is then compounded by a vote or a vote that then every, you know, when you're around somebody and they, they wrong you, it's like everything they do, you know, tweaks. Well, you why about. else could she dislike him so much? Well, I mean, she listed different attributes that she wasn't, you know, a fan of, but I think Brandon has a point. It's, one of those things where if you dislike somebody, everything that they do would get under your skin. You know, like you over there eating crackers and they're like, look at this bitch eating crackers. You know, it, that's exactly how it comes off. Uh, that was very nice. Okay, yeah. so assuming Andy is telling the truth uh, about how Kyle told me that he calls you Tweedledee and Tweedledum, what's with these like Alice in Wonderland insults Brandon I mean is this why is this a topical reference for Kyle <laughs> yeah Kyle just got Disney plus he's, he was binging you know on the plane over. is that what it is because he has little because he's a family man because he <laughs> he's has a little, little kids. Man. yeah no, he, <laughs> he's like he's referencing Bluey at tribal like, council we don't have the votes boy the I, t I tell you Gabe he's mad as a hatter well, well what is a better uh you know, insult if you're talking about a pair of people, right? And you kind of want to put them down because you remember, like, dumb I remember and dumber. dumber. That's not yep. that's just as old as Alice in Wonderland, Rob. No, it's, 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 not. It's, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. It's, it's long as he bro. Y'all act like Dumb and Dumber is recent. It's not. It's not it's recent, but Alice in Wonderland years. is like from the 40s. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but listen, yeah. at this point, you once you hit 30 years, it could all just be old, Rob. I'm talking about anything, anything within the last decade or two, y'all, please. Yeah, it's listen, we're going to celebrate. I think we just celebrated the 30th anniversary of Dumb and Dumber. I think <laughs> Alice in Wonderland, I think, is older than grandparents. The book, if it's the yeah, book, I yeah. Mean, the book. Sue was, Su was around for all of these properties. All I'm saying is for her, okay. she's, she's seen them all when they were fresh. Uh, NBC Beavis 03 says Beavis and Butthead. Chappelle's going to say that's old too. Is it? Is it not? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what I'm talking, y'all, we, we can't find nothing from the, I don't know, 2020s, the, tw the 20-aughts. Well, what do you got? I, nothing. That's why I'm asking y'all. Y'all. There's no. Honest. There's no two dumb people anymore. Right. Like. Uh. 
Beavis Already and Butthead, I will say, because it is a Viacom product, so they could they could easily use that. air that. You know what I mean? That that I think is maybe the best that mm-hmm. we're going to get in terms of a a duo, a, a dumb duo. Who's a dumb yeah. duo? I don't, I don't think we do dumb duos anymore. That's my point. I don't think I don't look. Kyle had like four references he could have used. Do we do okay. smart duos? All right, top do ten do most lovable idiotic duos in movies and TV. Okay, this is a list put together by. Jacob Cooperman, number one. What I'm like Steve Harvey. Yeah. Uh, no, me one Tennessee Tennessee survey, top ten answers on the board. Name, name a lovable idiotic duo. Give me, uh, give me SpongeBob and Patrick. Are they up? That's there? number two. Ooh. Number one answer. Lloyd Christmas and Harry Dunn, Dumb and Dumber. Number three, Beavis and Butthead. Number four, Shaggy and Scooby Doo. That's disrespectful. Which, Number Kyle five, is, Ren Kyle and Stimpy. Oh, yeah. Number six, Bill and Ted. Number seven, Wayne and Garth. Number eight, Timon and Pumbaa. That's <laughs> I don't, I don't yeah, know. Josh Redgrove meaner. and Parker Dinkelman. I don't know this. Uh, and number 10, this might be your most recent uh, reference, Chappelle. <laughs> Harold and Kumar. Uh, uh, listen. All of these references were old. I just don't, yeah. I don't understand why we're acting like any of this is new. I'm just all my point was let's not pick on Kyle because let's listen, you gotta reach back at least 25 years before you get your first reference. SpongeBob ain't new, it's been on forever. It's just like Scooby Doo, you know. Um, and I think it's disrespectful to uh to Scooby and Shaggy. You know, I always call them dumb. I just, you know, they just be on substances, and that's mm-hmm. okay. As are Harold and Kumar. Right. You also, know, some of these people. Need to be el- eliminated from the list. Maybe Timon and Pumba. I don't know what they've been doing in their spare time. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Are Carol- Caroline and Sue giving Tweedledee and Tweedledum, Tweedledee D and Tweedledee Dumb? What's the lore energy? behind them both? Are like, are they even dumb? Tweedledee. I think Tweedledee? they are dumb. I, I think, think Tweedledee dumb. and Tweedledum are. <laughs> they're uh, yeah, they're dumb. I don't yeah. know if you could say that anymore. I don't oh. know what they do that makes them dumb. Like I don't know what their job is. I think is they can't in- even like put together a sentence. Oh, yeah, that doesn't seem to be Caroline and Sue at all. That doesn't. No. They, they're they're great at Caroline's. You know, they're great at sentences. I guess mm-hmm. I have to agree. With, I, yeah, it sounds like Andy made it up. It sounds like so? Andy was just like she been talking trash about you. Like, what did he say? He called you. I don't know. Tweedle D and Tweedle Dumb. What? Oh my God! I'm gonna kill him. You know, like because um. I just don't, it just does. I don't know. It just feels like that doesn't really. This fit. is Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Right. So you telling me? I don't Kyle know which is like, which. This, this is... does not look like Caroline and Sue to me. Where's the dirt? No. no dude. <laughs> What's interesting there... to me about this particular image is that I do think there is not a single difference, unless this is a like spot the difference game. But there's no there's no discernible difference between hmm. Tweedledee and Tweedledum, which is something that if you're an Alice in Wonderland aficionado, maybe you'd. You'd know. Yeah. That I looks fun. That, yeah. So it's like you have to find a an iconic duo, but also it had to be a shady reference to an iconic du- duo, right? Because you could have pulled like a, this is a, y'all are like Thelma and Louise because they're like super tight. It's also old. Mm-hmm. Um, But yeah, I just don't think that we're like, we're not giving iconic duos the treatment that they used to have. You know, like mm-hmm. uh, Brandon dropped uh, Malcolm and Denise earlier, but that's been a long time. No. Like, when, when are people going to be on Survivor? Like, I need to find the Shan to my record. You know what I'm saying? I'm just relieved. Even I'd be looking at like, can't let them get to the end with six or seven immunity wins. What are we doing here? We've got to yeah. get rid of them. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad you brought that up, Chappelle. So, Brandon Donlin, a historian of this sport, here we have Kyle. Mm-hmm. Four immunity wins. Uh, could you contextualize this at all for us? I mean, pretty major. Yeah. Like we only have a couple people in survivor history. I think who, I mean, and, and yeah, who has five, who has five immunity wins? I think, I mean, like, I, are we counting multiple seasons? No, one, on season, one, season. one season, one season, Terry has five. Terry um, had five in, uh, Panama. Terry for sure. Does Joe mm-hmm. Anglum have five in second chance? I don't think I, so. I don't think so. No? Did I think he they four? got him before he did got Did Brad yeah, get the five in it. Game Changers? Oh, that uh, sounds familiar to, to me. That is correct. Brad got to five. And is that um, it? Is it Brad and my, five? My, no, Mike Holloway, Ozzy as well. Mike um, and yeah, Ozzy. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm forgetting. I'm now yeah. more invested in people who won zero challenges. I'm uh, I'm wondering <laughs> if you can fill out in my group chat. So I've and, I've left a lot of this. And Colby, yeah? Colby did Colby win five, five also? 
my boy Tom Westman, I believe, is a five is a he five, five timer. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure somebody know. in the chat knows for sure. Yeah, thank you. Josh Kettles is here, and so it's Colby, Terry, like, Ozzy, oh Brad, Culpepper, Mike Holloway is five. Nobody has six. We got him. Yeah, I mean, if but Kyle's two away, if, if Kyle hits six, does he automatically go to Survivor fifty? You would hope. So. You would hope so. So let's see. Colby has gone back. Tom's gone back. Terry's gone back. I, Ozzy's gone back. Yeah, I think that you. I think that. I think that that is such a moment. If it happens, Jeff mm -hmm. makes it such a moment that yeah. it, that Kyle then permeates the casual viewer's mind, and then Kyle is on every single casual Facebook post on wow. you see is like Ugh. Kyle's it. You got to have Kyle. I think I, that, that that's really there's a lot of stakes in these like next couple of uh, immunity challenges where. Chappelle, like it's sort of like that with all due respect to Kyle, you know, uh, that I don't think that he's on his pathway to win, but he, the, these immunity challenges really do hold like a lot of stakes for him. I think they do. And because of that, I really think that, you know, someone smarter than me should get into the, the details of these challenges and find out who is the best of the best, because just because you win immunity, it doesn't mean that you have an equal playing field against the, across the board. Right. And I'm not even talking about your competitors. I'm talking about the amount of people you're competing against. Right. Is it harder to win immunity if you're at the final eight versus the final four? Uh, is it? Uh, something where we have split the tribe in half and you were only competing against three other people. Uh, is there a male and a female winner of this challenge? You know, like now that we have the data, somebody needs to go in and figure it out, you know, because Kyle has four wins, but his four wins ain't the same as Terry's four wins. You know, Terry had his back up against the wall for a very long time. Same thing with Tom. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike, Mike Holloway, for the love of God. I mean, you know, his whole story is his back against the wall, but he had an advantage in one of the challenges too. So I think it all it all adds up. I want sure, somebody to but go when they make this granular yeah look the ball is juiced maybe but if he gets to six i think he's going six back six. you know it's they, back. they used to say it was like oh if you're gonna be brother you got to be good at carnival games you know and now people are telling you it's the it's the grip strength maybe here on uh on survivor now but there was a time where you had to be able to run and jump and swim and then like God forbid a puzzle come up, but you know, you had to be challenged. I, look, we might need reindeer games for Survivor now. You know, in the off season, yeah, Brandon Donlan, the first contestant. You put put us put us up there, put a ladder in there and say, let's go. Yep. All right. Well, we saw the Survivor contestants uh come in and come into this immunity challenge. And Rachel very quickly ID'd what was going on here. You're in balls, Jeff, I swear. Yeah. 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 Time this to guy get... loves balls. Loves, loves balls. balls. He just can't. He can't help himself. When there's one ball, he's like containable. Yeah. But when he, when you get the two balls, Jeff is giddy. But he's like, maybe ah. this is spicy, Jeff. I feel like we haven't done a lot of this in the new era. I'm and, disgusted, yeah. Brady. You remember that challenge where he was I remember, like, oh, where I remember it well, pulling it out I'm of each other's teeth mm. with their mouths. You're on you're on like the Ocean City Beach, New Jersey, and you have a water bottle, and there's a gust of wind, and it gets all up on the water oh, bottle. Forget it. At, Throw it in the yeah, garbage. I mean, that's the worst thing in the world to me. That's that's awful. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I'm I'm sterilizing yeah. that bad boy. I'm spit on that thing. <laughs> 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 sure. Yeah, Genevieve just had uh, so many great reactions at Tribal Council this week. I asked Sam to, uh, can you get me a slideshow? of all of Genevieve's facial reactions at Tribal Council. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we do with this. Okay. But I have no. like, a, that. I think we have nine facial reactions from Genevieve. Could we caption these? <laughs> yeah, like, like, are you picturing like the memes from like 2012, 2013? Like the, that feeling when you, you know. <laughs> right. Yes, this, this, is, this is actually the Big Brother Instagram was doing this. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So what is uh, Chappelle? What is this reaction that she's having? Um, that feeling when your balls separate on the plate <laughs> and it gets a little harder than you thought it would. Yeah, it's hard enough. to balance. It just got a whole lot harder with two balls. Yeah, that's that mm -hmm. face. You know, um, I remember way back in the in scary movie days. You know, where they would have like a, the uh, the 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 ghost face mask would get all high, and he'd be like, What's that? like that's kind of how she looks too. Like she's very she's very pleased with herself, even yeah. though she's not pleased in the moment. It could be mis misinterpreted. As that. I don't know, uh, Brandon. I think what about this one is uh, when your best friend asks Jeff if he can hit a dance real quick. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I think this is, I think it's skewing a little too happy, maybe, but this yeah. is maybe that feeling when you just saw your friend hit the, the Ray Lewis band. <laughs> is real, quick, real quick. Yeah. Real quick. <laughs> okay. All right. Next slide. What happened next to Genevieve? Hmm. Oh, wait, this might be what I said before. This might be the right. <laughs> this is the, yeah, this is how you really listen. Like, you want to do what? <laughs> you, do I, yeah. Lewis, I think what? when, when you're sitting next to Sammy Liotti at the wedding, <laughs> <laughs> when you're sitting between Q, between Q and Sammy Liotti at the wedding, it's like, what is yeah. happening? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's All right. Tough. Genevieve got the glasses on. Okay. All right. What's this one? This is this is, and I won't say Sammy Liotti, but this is when the feeling when the person who's annoying you at the wedding gets up, they go to the buffet table. So you have that like you have the yeah. two minutes Ooh. of a of a break, like the, <laughs> you know, you gotta, oh. you gotta get your yeah. mind together. You gotta get your mind yeah. right. <laughs> That's what this says to me. Okay. Hmm. hmm. The feeling one. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's all you need. Is this is this cake from Five Below? <laughs> I didn't know that. Is it they good have, cake from that. Five Below? Do they have cake section? at Five Below? <laughs> Cookies and cream. I might be a cookie and cream guy. That's how it looks. Huh. Jeff made this. <laughs> hey, what's this one? Hmm. I don't know. What this is when on? you know the day after Thanksgiving, you have like the leftovers downstairs, and you don't <laughs> want to wake everybody up, but they're in that really loud, like <laughs> in oily thing, and then you yeah. open it. And you're like, it's 11. You know, I'm getting a brownie at 11 o'clock. Trying to get into the croissants, but that plastic thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's from Costco. It's fucking so loud. You know, it's a different decibel level, and you're like, fuck. Right. It's 11 a.m. or 11 p.m. <laughs> Love of God. <clears throat> this sucks. That was our ass caption. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I was like, I think, I think it'll speak for itself. Yeah. <laughs> When was this? This is, I this guess, is, I think, I think they must be counting the votes. He's like, sure. can I look? Like, yeah. can, I, can I look? Yeah. Uh oh. That's the, the feeling when the edible kicks in. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me how it I know. Is. I, yeah. <laughs> I saw I've read. Yeah. And then what? Uh, last one. Oh. <laughs> Still the same. That's the, that's the feeling after the edible kicks in. Yeah. yeah it's, right. it's not when, but it's after. Yeah. Seconds yeah. later. <laughs> Okay, uh, there's there's uh, all about Genevieve. Uh, a lot of talk this week also about Saul and his Luke at Tribal Council. Brandon, I can't remember uh, a... First of all, I, I don't think I ever can remember a male juror, uh, I don't want to say objectified, but thirsted for in the way that Saul coming in as a juror has been. I, I, I can't think of a person. I I tweeted this when Saul got voted out, which is even before this craziness, is that I have never seen near a hundred percent approval rating for somebody on Survivor in many many years. Mm -hmm. But like I talk, you know, I have friends who are not in our orbit who watch the show. My mom, everybody yeah. is hundo p in on Saul. In it's a way hard to get a hundred percent approval rating. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because to get a hundred percent approval rating, you need everybody. You need like the, the earnest fans. You need the ironic fans. Uh, you need, uh, the, the casuals, like, uh, mm -hmm. it, there's a lot of, you know, it's a big tent that we have here in survivor nation. And Saul is just like, check, the, check them all off. Yeah. Got us pinch of tits. You know, uh, he comes in and his uh, in his vest. And I mean, I've seen the, the timeline went wild. This, the skeets were skeeting on blue sky. My skyline was full of skeets. Yeah. People skeeted hard after they saw, so, you know, I, I, I it's yeah. it, and, and not, not for anything. The Hundo P approval rating was before the vest, the vest yeah, only the, the, like, mm -hmm. the, the vest yeah. like licked the envelope to send it right. to whoever. Well, send, send it. it. <laughs> send it. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Sam Smith. Do we? Uh, don't do that. <laughs> don't do, do we that. have really the that. Saul Vest image anywhere, Sam? Not Sam I Smith. Will, I will give both of our but jurors some it. credit though, because the, uh, even last week, Sierra, when her walk in, people were like, "Sierra's walking in like a woman on a mission." And I said, "Yeah." yeah. Well, you know what, Chappelle? They took the walk ins away, and then they brought them back this season. We missed them, and we I really did. I must have missed the clamoring for "Let the jury walk back in." But aren't you happy it's back? Look I'm at happy the, it's back. I'm just surprised because I, I didn't feel like that it was like they're correcting something that I don't think anybody was asking them to fix. But 
it's been a big result so far. I'm loving I it. think that the general survivor rule, I think for me and just observing the online community, if you bring back anything that has gone away, people are going to dig it, you know? And I think this is, you know, I didn't see the clamoring either. I love yeah. that it's here. I just, mm -hmm. my question about Saul is I wonder if our, our outfits escalate. Are we going to have the same reaction every week? Is it going to oh. be, good? you know, like, cause now, you know, he's got, he's got, six more yeah. tribal consoles. All right, so what what does Saul do to top this next week? Sure. Does he come in? Okay, so here is here is Saul on the jury. Yeah. And he looks like he looks oiled up, too. Right. Yeah. Looks, yeah. Everybody was like, "Why is he so wet?" They both are. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I guess they both are. Yeah, yeah. Um I I haven't looked at Sierra once, to be honest. It's just <laughs> so <laughs> big to, I just saw because mm -hmm. it's not it's Sierra's beautiful, but yeah. it's, you know, and I don't know awesome. if this is like some combination of like the bug spray and then also it's raining. Uh, so maybe that uh, okay. might uh, lend to the uh, glistening look here sure. for our oh. jury. But what if Saul comes in next week? Okay, just no shirt, bow tie. He has to be glistening though. It's part of the outfit. When I was it's in college and we would have toga parties and stuff like that, you you knew who was taking it seriously because not only did you have a toga. But you have to take some time to baby oil yourself up because you know the muscles and stuff really start uh -oh. to pop if you if you glisten, you know. Mm -hmm. Q four has been horrible for baby oil. I feel it's like. It's really been, like it needs to make yeah. a comeback, and uh, yeah. it's, it's going to take a lot. It really is. It's all the guy to do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I like my my mind went to no shirt bandana, but no shirt bow tie. You have to be no shirt, and then an accessory, a taste right. Accessory. I like uh, that. You know, bow tie. Yeah, well. yeah. like a sash. Okay. <laughs> all right so not we'll like see. a stash but yeah. <laughs> we'll see what Saul uh comes in with uh next week if he's or maybe he comes in with like what if he just came in like full like uh, tuxedo yeah yeah <laughs> like kind of fully hat. dressed but, what, yeah. but like tailored down like he'd have to get it tailored today though because you know he probably Shit. lost some weight okay. on the island like, but, like tuxedo no tuxedo shirt just full tuxedo sure. and the bow tie yeah I, I, Jeff might piss himself you know he's like <laughs> whoa and we were like uh like hanging out that night and i shave i like uh, went in and i had like clippers and i like shaved like my beard off but I, I still like i left the long mustache and we were hanging out and drinking and then um mark burnett was hanging out with us and it was like the jury and like the ponderosa people and mark burnett and mark burnett said to me i had my mustache she's like rob you look gay like Freddie Mercury. You, you were like, thank you. <laughs> God. I was yeah, like, right, you know what? And I, I, again, I bought it. It was the early days of like the internet. I didn't hadn't really like Googled, um, yeah. you know, Freddie Mercury, I mean, but super handsome. You know, I watched the I watched the Bohemian Rhapsody. I watched the biopic. It's yeah. I, I mean, I think it was like yeah. I, I took it as a as a compliment. But you look gay like Freddie Mercury, I guess, is a fundamentally different compliment. But it but it's Freddie Mercury's handsome. Right. The, Freddie Mercury the was really beloved. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This that's 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 a you can't get better than that. Yeah. They cast Rami Malik to play him in that movie, Rob. They, 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 you're a regular Rami Malik. Mm -hmm. They did. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Mark Burnett. Yeah. I was trying to see like if I if I could find that uh picture anywhere. But that was yeah. it. That was all we had. Let's make a mm -hmm. make a mustache. I like when the when the players have a big reaction to the people in the jury, like looking like themselves, you know, because it's been, yeah. you know, well, back in the old era, it had been several weeks since you'd seen these people, you know, looking like themselves. Now it's been like, you know, six or seven days. But back then it was a whole thing. I remember I remember Davey walking in and people being like, what? You know, like, uh, you know, mm -hmm. he cleans up pretty well. I, there's been a, a bunch of really big reactions when they like, you know, like this, like the Sarah Lucina, like game changers of like. The first time I played, I played like a cop, but now I'm gonna play like a criminal. Like people Ooh. need to start working on their their do tag more taglines. Go, yeah, do more taglines. Can I actually not to not to step on the bit here? I am a copywriter for work, right? This oh. is what I this oh. is what I do. So so I'm just if you think you're going to season fifty and you don't already have your tagline, like just ta like just let me do it. You'll do it for free. Me. Oh, for free. Whoa, hold on, hold on, baby. We, hold on. I mean, okay, all for right. For a nominal fee, he a commission. Said, for a fee, a commission. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, because I, like, I mean, I while like you're doing stuff for free, recap kickback doesn't have a, a tag. Well, I think just, everybody just, needs one, really, because it's like, uh, like if well, if it, you know, they uh, like maybe you get a good enough tagline, maybe they're like, so now we got to use you. I mean, yeah. remember Sandra? Uh, last time I was mean. This time I'm meaner. Like I think that yeah, you goes, need it. Like every, you need to like have good branding. You yeah, gotta like have the good housewives. branding. 
Like I'm Sari, I got off the couch, you know, uh, I'm, or I'm uh, Oprah in a Superwoman suit, or what is it? A super, uh, Superman gangster suit. suit, gangster yeah, suit, yeah, gangster in an Oprah suit, yeah, something like that, you oh, know, yeah, that, gangster. yeah, gangster in an Oprah suit. Brandon, can you think of any more off the top of your head? Of people yeah, that like, already, we, we got like, but like random people, tab, sure, taglines, yeah, like none of the ghosts, fun game. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Uh, Oh, I'm Abby Maria. If you f with me, you're dead. You if know, you like that's, with me, you're dead. Yeah, that's f a with good me, one. You're dead. Yeah. That's a good one. Um, so if we bring back Brad from Forty One, what's Brad's? You know, hmm. I just I'm, I'm thinking anywhere. everybody always wants seconds of broccoli. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's time, good. I'm, this that's time good. I'm cleaning my plate. You know, this, <laughs> you know, last time I only took a bite, but this time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm cleaning it. Yeah, I like that a lot. This is fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody always asks for more broccoli. <laughs> Famously. Yeah, give us another, uh, give us another rando. Oh yeah. Pick somebody from the new era. Like uh Hannah Rose. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Peace. Every I'm time out. I think I'm out, they keep pulling me back in. Banu yeah. winning a, a million hearts, you know, like this it's, time it's, I'm you, going for two million hearts. I'm going a million hearts I, and a million dollars. You know, yeah, I think he's still kind of working towards the million. I think he might, you know, <laughs> last time I was for a million hearts. This yeah, time I'm here for a million hearts. I'm still trying to get that million hearts, y'all. Yeah. Less than yeah. a yeah. rose. Hannah Rose like the chewing tobacco. She could be like chew on this. You know, she could be something. <laughs> you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's quick. You know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So look. Uh, those taglines, everybody needs to be uh, tweaking that's those kind of and, and getting actually, them ready to go. I actually think that's a really good idea. You know, because um, every, everyone needs a good soundbite. You know, I think that that's part of being an iconic character is that, like, when you mention the character, we all can point to the thing that they said, you know, or the thing that they did uh, that made them stand out. And a lot of times it's just quick, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, Boston Rob, I'm carrying my family on my back, you know, something like that mm -hmm. when he comes back Which, for the he, 16th time. Yeah, he didn't even get that till the fourth time. You know, you yeah, had to, so even long. if it's not your first time, you know, you got to throw it in there. Malcolm doesn't have one. I'm just thinking this is my last one, but I don't know if Malcolm has a good one. <laughs> Looking hmm. for my Denise. <laughs> oh, I guess, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Golden boy, he was that. Yeah. yeah there's something there. Malcolm, yeah. if you're listening, right. and I know you are, DM me. Yeah, Brendan Donlin, you know there's only like, there's not that many left-handed survivor contestants. That's how I remember that Brett Closer is one of them. Yeah, you you, you as well. Yeah, but there's like, and also, there's like, yeah. According to the Survivor Wiki, he's currently based in Amsterdam, Netherlands, and works as a oh. web designer. So if he's out of the country, he probably didn't, didn't eh, probably I don't even, one they did don't not even go to it. see Wicked. Together. After the episode. I love that. I'm such a big fan of like bring a buddy with you. The bring buddy, buddy it's the holidays. It's it's, it's the like holidays. our friends giving. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm a very big proponent of it. Um, Hunter's great, Tiffany's great. It'll be a great a great uh podcast hopefully you get a great episode uh you know nothing like dinner conversation at thanksgiving you know this year it's going to be tough for some folks but if we get a good episode won't be as tough mm -hmm. yeah yeah and oh, then uh in. i will have survivor know-it-alls with steven coming up on friday uh this week after the thanksgiving holiday and stay tuned for we figure out when we get are going to get the patron q a coming up uh this weekend okay thank you so much for joining us take care everybody have a good one bye